Hey, Kimberly here with Cameratown.com, and I am sitting here with Rudy at the Sigma booth. How are you? Very good, thank you very much. So can you tell us a little bit about the image sensors you have? Sure, I'd be happy to. There's a very unique technology that's found inside the Sigma cameras, and it's made by a company called Foveon in, up in Santa Clara, California. And it is a unique because it captures the images in three image planes, blue, green, and red, in layers as opposed to the dominant technology in the, in the digital imaging business, which is a Bayer technology where the image is captured flat and the, and the pixels are located next to each other. With the Foveon technology, because of the, the depth of the pixels, you're able to get a, a richness that's unachievable with, with the Bayer sensors. It's, uh, it's been under development for several years and this technology is available in several new models of Sigma cameras. Okay, well thank you so much. Um, so this is the SD15 camera, correct? That's right. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, I'd be happy to. It's a successor to our SD14 model, and it's completely new inside, even though from the outside it looks like uh, sim very similar to our SD14 model. It has a brand new processor, which is, which is faster than before. It has some new signal, signal conditioning chips inside to reduce noise and improve color. And in addition, uh, we've added a 21-frame buffer in uh, RAW mode. On the back of the camera, we've, we've uh, put in a new 3-inch LCD, color LCD screen. And uh, also the shutter is rated for 100,000 exposures. And battery life has been extended to 500 uh, images. Oh, wow. So there's been a lot of improvements made to the camera uh, since, the, since its predecessor debuted. We've got two more cameras here in front of us. They look kind of similar, but I'm sure they're different. Um, can you tell us a little bit about them? They are. They're, they're two of our, our DP series cameras that have been updated uh, for PMA 2010. Uh, both of these cameras feature the same sensor we put into our DSLR camera, the same large sensor. This is a product category that Sigma actually pioneered a couple of years ago with our DP1 camera. And the DP1 uh, looks looks like this. What distinguishes it from the other model is that it has a very wide angle lens, 28 millimeter in 35 millimeter equivalent. Uh, this camera has been updated in, uh, in inside and out. It's got a new um, uh, processor inside for faster processing, uh, better signal conditioning as well inside, and we've also improved the user interface on the on the back of the camera. And it's still the only camera that you can buy with a large sensor in it like this. Uh, that can still fit in your shirt pockets. You yeah, it's pretty it. small. It is, and the, but the image quality is very big. And then the other camera that we have is called our DP2 model, which has also been updated with faster AF and better power uh, uh, power management. is uh, has a 41 millimeter equivalent lens, same image sensor that's found in the in the DP1 as well, and we've also improved the user interface on the back of the camera as well. Well, thank you so much, Rudy. We look forward to seeing these cameras soon.